We've just changed the size of our menu in the previous tutorial. And now we're off to figure out all the rest. Let's go from top to bottom so we don't forget anything. We've seen this one actually already. We've chosen another wallpaper and we can do, do so by just clicking here and we have another one as well. So preferences, <coughs> Alex appearance or no. So first this one, we've done this one. That's important to remember. Compositor is just good the way it is, but if you don't want to have all these transparent things, you can just disable it and it's not transparent anymore. Conkeys, we've done that. Tin 2 don't need to be here. This is the place to be. And what is Tin 2? Tin 2 is this thing up here. It's a panel. And we've made lots of panels in uh, R2D2, as you can see. We try to follow the art themes. So they are, there are lots of art themes. So like you see, lots of art themes and the colors will match the colors for Tin 2 and the art theme. So they're a match. Fine. So well, let's start changing elements. We can change it to Dark Takao, which is probably my favorite since I always take it. So this is Art Takao. And that's, that's what happens. So you just click, activate, and it's here. This changed up here. By the way, desktop 1, desktop 2, desktop 3, desktop 4. For instance, websites and stuff, uh, another something else. Uh, and this one, for instance, in my case, 3 is for me ISO building and 4 is for me virtual box. So everything is a little bit, well, structured. So we have this tin 2, we can change and we can also double click tin 2. And now we're going to edit. And this is so much fun. So you find an, a theme from somebody else, a tint 2 RC theme, and then you figure it out. And my advice is click one thing, apply and check what happens. Now, okay, you can break things, which is okay because we're learning. It doesn't matter. We can always get it back from GitHub, from online. So we can check out what happens if I take more spacing, what happens if I take my icons if I make them bigger and so on. So it's just click, activate, check. So have fun making your own Tin2 teams the way you like.